In this guide for Dragon's Dogma 2, I'll be showing you how to start the Phantom Oscar questline, the rewards that you can get, how to board it so you can get the achievement. There are some things that go wrong, but if you follow this video, it's going to essentially be smooth sailing. So let's get into it. First thing you want to do is go to the western part of Vernworth, you know, by the gate. You're going to see the West Vernworth Oxcart Station. Just go over there. And as soon as you get near the ox cart, you're going to eavesdrop on two NPCs having a conversation. And that is basically the trigger to start the quest line. I follow every regulation to the letter and only travel during the day. Why can't others do the same? There's been much talk on the street of this phantom ox cart that travels after sunset. But I've heard rather enough of it. Our hands are full enough as it is. So after you hear the conversation, it'll show you to go right here in the crossroad, which is basically northeast of Vernworth. You could essentially rest at an inn until night, or you could just rest at a bench. It's really up to you, but you'll only be able to see the Phantom Ox card at night. As you start approaching the area, you're going to see the Phantom Ox card show up, and then you're going to overhear a conversation. I brought the number that you requested. I'll take it this will be enough. Aye, nicely done. Get in, you lot. Here's your payment. Contact me again when you've need of more cargo, won't you? What is it? I've done naught for following me over. Hold, I beg you. I'll tell you what there is to know. So he's going to give you a document and you could either turn him in or get some money from him which is going to be 5,000 gold, but if you turn them in, you don't get anything. So it's your decision, but I clearly went with the gold. Today, so pray, I beg you, will you let me go? You have my sincerest thanks. I see the true Arisen is merciful indeed. And then I also chucked him off the bridge to make sure he knew his mistake. So now you just got to return to Brant, you're going to give him the document, and then he's going to basically tell you to further investigate the situation. You have my fullest confidence. Yes, your majesty. I bid your majesty follow the ox cart without arousing suspicion, that you might divine where it is headed. Alternatively, mayhap your majesty could assume the guise of a pawn and await pickup in a likely location. I leave the choice to your majesty's discretion. So there is going to be a fight that is very annoying. So I suggest you pick something you're comfortable with. For me, it was a no brainer to be a thief because you're essentially going to 1vxing a bunch of guards. I'm going to use formless faint and then blades of the pyre. And it is just going to be super OP because you don't get touched when you're formless faint. That's what I'm going to roll with. Now make your way back to the ox car location with no armor. You gotta take off everything. Your weapon, so that way you can blend in as a pawn. What's this? Only pawns? What's that dullard playing at? Suppose it's all the same. The car goes all I need to get the job done. In you get then. And that is basically the only way to board the phantom ox car. What was that? You're gonna get under attack. And don't make the mistake that I did because I drew out my weapon and I was like, oh, I'm going to help. But then the driver basically said, oh, wait, you're not a pawn. And then he just dipped out. So so my advice is to just stay in the cart and play it safe because the pawns will do everything and they'll kill the enemies. What's the hold up? Get in. Bolt, we're expecting your cargo. Open up. How'd you like that? Built rather tough, eh? You going to fight back? They made me. Enough! That's valuable merchandise you're toying with. Worth more than your wages combined. Once you make your way to Bak Batal, it's pretty much going to be the end of the mission. You're essentially going to get found out that you weren't a pawn for some reason. But once they do that, just re-equip your armor and your weapon, and then you're going to be 1vxing a bunch of guards. So here is how I did it. Wait, you're not a pawn. We have an intruder in our midst! To arms!
I shall wait. What's to be done about this? You have my fullest confidence. Has there been some development, Your Majesty? Well now, you have divined the Oxcast's destination then. I see. So they were procuring pawns in order to carry out this excavation. You have my gratitude, Your Majesty. The evidence you have gathered shall form the stalwart pillar upon which our rightful claim will rest. Tis most valuable. So pray, exercise the utmost care when deciding how it ought to be used. For the rewards, you're going to get Ring of Momentum. It moderately boosts your stamina. And then 14,500 gold. So, including the 5,000 we got earlier, that's almost 20k. Not bad. And that is basically it. Like and subscribe. Dude, freaking NPCs getting in my way every time. But yeah, I'm going to be making more Dragon's Dogma 2 content. And I'll catch you in the next one.